This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Coding can be overwhelming to learn, especially if you're younger or even just new to game dev. But what if I told you there was an easier way to get started? It's called visual scripting. And it's super fast and easy to learn. And believe it or not, but it's actually the way I got started with game dev over a decade ago. And the great news is that visual scripting has gotten way better and more intuitive since I started learning. I mean, heck, Nintendo's Game Builder Garage is literally a visual scripting game about making games. But even with this all said, starting a new hobby or passion can be a little stressful and definitely overwhelming. It can be confusing with all the different terms and tools and even just the simple question of how do I get started? Well, luckily for you, I'll be answering three of the main questions I get all of the time. And those are, what is visual scripting? What game engine should you choose? and how and why you should eventually switch to coding. So without further ado, let's dive deep into the world of visual scripting. But before we get started, Squarespace. Making your own website or online store can be a huge pain in the butt from scratch. Believe me, I've done it many times before. And the best way to cut the hassle is to use Squarespace. From selling your products online, making a portfolio or gallery of your work, or even something as tedious as image scaling, is so much easier and saves you so much time with Squarespace. As the internet expands, I truly believe that everyone should have internet real estate, but creating your own website doesn't mean you have to be disconnected from social media. With Squarespace, you can connect your social Social profiles so that way you can instantly post on different platforms making it fantastic and easy to post your new product or game make sure to go check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready you're all set to launch go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain so some of you are watching may be a little confused by the term visual scripting and no it's not an old wise monk doodling little photos Visual scripting is creating programs or software or games using graphics instead of text. Now the idea is that moving around these colorful boxes or shapes and graphically seeing yourself program is a lot easier to understand than just long lines of code. And now visual scripting varies depending on your engine. You have node-based systems with all these little nodes that connect together. Or maybe you have columns, it's a row of columns and you change things in the boxes. Or you can even have cubes with different icons. Really, the visuals aren't important, they just make it easier for you to start creating games and focusing on the logic instead of typing out and remembering all this code. So that's great and all, but what game engine should you choose? Every engine has its own strengths and weaknesses. Some engines focus only in visual scripting like Construct, while others like Unity and Unreal have both coding and visual scripting. Now choosing the right engine all comes down to your specific needs. But here's a little guide on which engines I think have the best visual scripting. Number one, the ultimate learning tool, Scratch. First publicly launched in 2007, Scratch is a visual programming website that actually focuses more on educational purposes and it was developed by MIT. One thing that's really cool about it is you can actually export games for websites, Android, and even a Windows EXE. Now I'm sure most of you have heard of it or used it before, but if you haven't, it's a fantastic tool for learning programming and even Harvard uses it in their CS50 class, so you know it's solid. Now, because of its extremely simplistic interface and visual scripting, which makes it easier to learn, it actually makes it a lot harder to work on larger projects. So it's great for absolute beginners, but I probably wouldn't be using it for big game projects. Number two, fast and flexible, Construct3. Out of all the visual scripting engines listed here today, Construct is probably the one I've used the most. To be honest, I think it has the most flexibility to create fun, polished 2D games. I mean, I've used Construct to make everything from mobile games to even side-scroller MMORPGs. The visual scripting is in like these columns, and it actually makes it a lot easier to organize and work on larger projects, which is a lot better if you're trying to sell your game instead of just making little prototypes or just something for fun. Now, speaking of money, that is one of the major takeaways with Construct is the annual price of $99. Now, there is a free trial, but it's extremely limiting, and I honestly only recommend it just if you want to test it before purchasing. If you're just a hobbyist and not really making money out of it, I don't know if I could recommend the price tag, but if you got the money, it's a fantastic tool, 
Number three, the best free option, GDevelop. If you're looking for a very similar experience to construct, but without the price tag, then GDevelop is probably the engine you wanna use. It's free and open source and has a really great community behind it. Now, personally, I haven't used the engine enough to give a good comparison versus it in construct, but what I know from what I have used is that it seems like a pretty solid engine that has a ton of potential as long as you're willing to put in the time and the patience to learn it. And honestly, you should with any of the engines that you pick. Now, I have heard some rumors that some features like the networking aren't nearly as good, but to be honest, I heard the same stuff about Construct and I still was able to create the game that I wanted. So to be honest, I think it has a ton of potential and you can't beat the price. Number four, easiest room for growth, Game Maker Studio. Some of you may know that Game Maker was actually my first game engine and it'll always hold a special place in my heart for that reason. The first game I ever created was actually using Game Maker's visual scripting system called Drag and Drop. The system is probably the most unique out of all that we've talked about today, and it features a bunch of colorful icons. I actually really love the old ones, and they're kind of nostalgic. Now, one of the great advantages to Game Maker is that you can actually do both coding and drag and drop together, making it a lot easier to transition from visual scripting to coding. And that's actually the way I made the transition to coding. After using GameMaker and getting comfortable with the engine, it just was easier to just change the coding and not have to relearn a whole new engine. Another really cool thing that recently happened is that GameMaker Studio is now free, so you might as well just jump in, give it a shot, and see if you like it. Now, some honorable mentions are Godot, Unity, and Unreal. I know some of you out there might be a little grumpy that I didn't include these in the other list, but that's because I feel the coding in those engines is actually a little bit better and more intuitive than the visual scripting. I do know that most people that use Unreal use its visual scripting and are able to make some pretty cool games with it. My only hesitation to recommend it at first is that Unreal deals with a lot of complicated 3D mechanics and lighting and all sorts of crazy things that most beginners shouldn't have to deal with. But if you are interested in something a little bit more complicated and getting into 3D, I think Unreal is an excellent choice. Now, Godot and Unity, on the other hand, they almost feel easier to learn the code than trying to use their visual scripting systems. Now, I'm a huge Godot fan, but I don't like recommending something if I haven't used it or really understand it. So if you used it and you like it, let me know in the comments down below. So now that we know a little bit more about visual scripting and which engines you should use, how and why should you eventually switch to coding? Well, visual scripting is slow, and that seems a little strange. You think, well, it's blocked, it's simpler, it's easier for me to understand, but dragging these shapes or these objects is really way more time consuming than just typing out a line of code. Visual scripting can also become very messy and overwhelming, and that's part of the reason I actually didn't finish a lot of my construct games. Honestly, if you're on the fence about visual scripting, I think the only reason you should be using it is if you're a beginner, you're younger, or if you just prefer to make smaller games and really don't like coding that much. But if you do really find yourself enjoying game development, you should really eventually transfer those skills to coding. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. The trick is you need to find the game engine that you're gonna to switch to, whether it's Game Maker, Godot, Uni. Do some research and find out what language the game engine uses. For example, if you wanna learn Godot, then start taking a class on Python or Lua, as GDScript is very similar to both of them. And by taking a class on that language and combining that with your past game logic experience, you'll find that learning code is actually super easy. And once you switch to it, you really won't wanna go back. If there's any other visual scripting game engines out there that you really enjoy using, or maybe there's some tips and tricks on how to transfer from visual scripting to code, please share that knowledge with all the world and leave a comment down below. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Rye Bread, Buddy Games, and Heath Sargent, and the rest of the fantastic, wonderful Patreon supporters. And as always, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time for another game dev adventure.